CBS News analyst Frank Luntz is an expert in crisis communications. He has worked with top CEOs and politicians. Frank, good morning. Good morning. As Armstrong, is this will this satisfy his critics? Uh, in some ways, no, it won't, and it'll never fully go away. There are certain lessons in this, two in particular. Number one, you never personalize a decision for a corporation. You've got thousands of employees. If they think that they're being victimized by a position that the CEO takes, they'll never forgive you. And second is that you don't politicize. And he used the word Obamacare. As a CEO, you want to call it the Affordable Health Care Act, even though those who oppose it refer to it as Obamacare. The language that he used was ineffective and got him into an awful lot of trouble. Well, first in an interview on CNBC, he seemed to blame Obamacare. And then on this conference call with employees, then he sort of blamed these two distressed babies for the reason that everybody in the company's 401k plan would be changed. Is his apology going to be enough? I, I'm not sure, and, and I want to broaden this because CEOs goes, th goes through this every single week. And every politician and every CEO that, that runs into Obamacare, it's like a buzzsaw, and there are others. The, the CEO of uh, Whole Foods got into a lot of trouble, and he's on the left uh, criticizing the President's Health Care Act. Uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to prove your intentions, that your intentions are good, that it's really about the welfare of the employees in the company. Second is that you've got to address the bigger picture. They don't just want to look at it in terms of 401k or health care. They want to know what it means for their future over the next five, ten years or beyond. And third is that you have to demonstrate respect for those who disagree with you. What Armstrong did in discussing it at the town hall is that he was giving a declaration. What he should have done was to listen and learn. Ask them questions, explain the policy without politics, and then pull in what they you, think. You mean listen before you speak? Yeah, I know it sounds so simple. You'd be amazed at how often they get it wrong. But, Charlie, by 6931, the American people want business leaders involved in policies because they think they have more to answer, better problem solvers than elected officials. And over 80% trust their own leadership when it comes to policies like this. So you just got to do it carefully. A lot of CEOs concerned about the, the cost of Obamacare? Uh, almost everyone I deal with. And then they're running through the same issues that uh, Armstrong did, which is how to explain it so they don't cause an uproar, but how to deal with it now so they don't have the financial ramifications of it. Don't forget, there are certain promises made about the health care legislation three years ago that have proven not to be true. Nevertheless, nobody wants to be the subject of a C CBS Morning News profile like you just did of Tim Armstrong, which is going to make them very nervous about what they say and how they say it. All right, Frank, thank you. Thank you.